Hi, I'm Joe James, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a zombie in PowerPoint. Microsoft PowerPoint, we're going to make this zombie. So, pretty cool, huh? All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab my existing zombie and use that as kind of a reference. So, I'll delete this. I'll show you where I have this saved on my hard drive here. Insert picture. I'll walk you through this. And this is my zombie. So we're going to scoot that off to the side. We're going to use that as a reference. Mostly we're going to use drawing tools in PowerPoint here to create this cool zombie. Uh, and it's only going to take a few minutes. So we're going to use insert and shapes. What we're going to do is this thing is layered. So there's a bunch of different colored filled shapes that are layered. And the bottom one is like the arms and the legs. And then on the very top is like the head and the eyeballs and stuff. And we can group some of those together to make it a little easier to keep track of some of them. So as we get stuff done, let's say like the lower body will group stuff or an arm or something. So let's now, let's, um, let's start. The one shape we're going to use most of the tool is this curve tool. And that allows us to click at points and bend and shape stuff however we want. So let's start with this leg here. The, the, um, this, I guess that's the right leg. So we'll just click, click. And you can see how it bends around here. And when you reach the end, it'll close the shape up. There we go. Now we have a shape for that leg. Uh, now we want to um, add some color to it. So we'll click the format. And then we can do, um, let's see, shape outline. We're going to outline in black. And we want to do outline in a little heavier weight. So I'm going to consistently use the same weight for all of mine, which is probably like, you know, yeah, three points outline. Yeah, I think that's probably what I did with the previous one. And then we need to get a fill that looks like zombie-ish, right? So, so a green fill, something like this. Just pick that color. Okay, that's our leg. We get a little notch here, but that's okay. And we can stretch this as we need to make it a little skinnier. Okay, so we have one leg done. Let's say we do the pants next. So let's see, let's try it. We're just going to do our best to wing it here. We're going to eyeball it. Uh, we're going to do insert, shape, and then curve again. And then we need to have pants that cover up, basically cover up that leg. So we got a waist. We're going to click a little more here, come down. Add a little shape over, start coming up. You just click as you go. I don't know if you can hear these clicks, but yeah, as you go, you just click along. So you have some points that you can bend later on. And like that. So I'm making a bunch of clicks as I go. And now we've got the pants. Look at that, that was pretty quick. Um, you can fill the pants any color you want. Uh, we'll go back to format, and then we'll do um, the same outline, except we want uh, the three-point weight again. Boom. And let's change the fill to, um, yeah, I don't know. That's, we already used that color. It's uh, purple. I don't know. That's a scary-looking zombie, but OK. So that's our purple pants. We can shrink these a little. Not bad, not bad. We're kind of on track here. Yeah. Okay. Now let's try the shirt. Well, maybe we should do the arms first. So let's do an arm. We'll pick an arm. What we're gonna do is outline around these, the thumb and then the hand, and then we'll add these fingers later. So we'll do each arm, um, insert shape, uh, the same curve again, and then so let's do this this uh, left arm, do like that, come out here, okay, and then up, add a little thumb on there, there we go. And that's our arm. Boom. 
don't worry about this funky little ending here because it's going to be covered up by the shirt, right? Um, no, let's add our coloring to it. So format, shape fill, let's, uh, let's go with the same shade of green, a light green color, and then outline black. And we want to add the same uh, line thickness. So wait, three points. So that's one arm done. It's a little bit too big still, I think, here. So smaller. Okay. You can always resize stuff later. You can also stretch these waypoints later too. I'll show you in a, in a minute as we need to. Uh, let's make the other arm. Insert, curve, let's see, shape. There's curve. Let's start working on this other arm here. Come down this way. Let's get this thumb in. And the hand. There we go. There's our other arm. And we can format it. Actually, what we could do is copy the format from this one. So if we do uh, home, here, this. Format Painter, so we can use Format Painter, we copy that, and then we'll just click it on this one. So we copied exactly the same format, this Format Painter tool. You select an object, use that little yellow paintbrush, and then you click the object you want to copy the format to. Okay, that will save us a little time. And then let's, um, this one's a little big too, so let's make it a little smaller. Okay. Pretty cool, man. We got two hands. We're coming right along. Um, we should slap some shoes down and then maybe a shirt.